everybody, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing something really, really fun. I decided to do my own version of Mary Kiss Cliff. Um, this has been floating around booktube for a few years now and I finally decided to get around to it to have a fun video to upload. I'm not sure when you guys are going to be seeing this. I kind of want to have this be the video I upload right before I leave for school just in case I'm packing and I don't have time to film anything. So I might be pre-filming this. This might go up right away. I'm not sure. But um, if you guys see this, um, let me know who out of my characters you would kiss Mary or Cliff, basically. Um, I have all of my slips right here in a strand mug that I got in New York last summer while I was there. That being said, I'm just going to jump right in. If you don't understand how this game works, you'll see while I do this. Alright, I'm going to pick out three names. One, two, three. All right, my first character is Cedric Diggory. <laughs> this is, I can already tell you, it's going to be hard. I've done like all my favorite characters from all my favorite books. Ned from the Nancy Drew books because he's just a sweetheart. And then Simon Lewis from the Mortal Instruments. Oh my god, this is actually really hard. Okay. I think I'm going to... Mary Cedric Diggory because you know like he's a wizard <laughs> I'm gonna kiss Simon and I'm going to cliff Ned because as much as I love him I don't love him as much as I love the other round two you guys my camera is starting to die and I just want to finish this video <laughs> okay we have Levi from fangirl him. I'm saying this like I didn't know who was going to be in this jar, but like picking him out for these rounds is like hard. I have Tamlin from A Court of Thorns and Roses. Alec Lightwood from The Mortal Instruments. Alright, if you haven't read the entirety of the Court of Thorns and Roses series, skip over this next part when I tell you what's happening or like mute it or something because I don't want to spoil anybody so I'm gonna put my hand up and once I put it down I'm done with spoilers okay 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 <laughs> so for this I'm going to cliff Tamlin because he's a jerk we don't like him he becomes a horrible person in the second book um I'm going to kiss Alec Lightwood because I just can't bear to tear him away from Magnus. And then I'm going to marry Levi because I love him. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I did that round with potential spoilers because I didn't want to ruin anybody's life. So, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure they're all stirred up. Alright, our first victim is Edward Cullen. I'm not saying victim quite yet. I don't actually know who else is in here. How did I do this to myself? I have Jacob Black. I stirred these up, so I was hoping this wouldn't happen from Twilight also. And then, oh, this is going to be so hard. Neville Longbottom from Harry Potter. Okay, I'm going to marry Neville Longbottom because have you guys seen the actor that plays him now? Because he grew up and got gorgeous, okay? <laughs> love him. I love Neville. He's so weird in the movies. I just love him. Now I have to... This is, this is so hard. This is literally making me go on the internet and tell you if I'm Team Edward or Team Jacob because it's still a relevant argument. Um, okay, I'm going to kiss Jacob only because... I feel like if I pushed Edward Cullen off a cliff, he wouldn't die. And then I don't have to pick sides because, you know, he's a vampire. So I think I'm going to do that. That way it's, this, it's a loophole, you guys. I have a loophole. I think I have seven rounds in total. So I'm on round four right now. Magnus Bane from the Mortal Instruments. Clark from The Unexpected Everything. And Ryzan. Is that how you say his name? Ryzan? I don't know. From A Court of Thorns and Roses. 
I'm going to marry Rizand because I love him. I think I'm going to kiss Magnus Bane because I don't want to kill him. And then I'm going to Cliff Clark only because I just read The Unexpected Everything the first time, like yesterday or the day before. And I don't know enough about him to not push him off the cliff. <laughs> Alright, this is round five. One, two, three. I'm scared because the only Harry Potter characters I've had have been Cedric and Neville and I've got mm, a lot more that I know that I wrote down so that being said I have Harry Potter if I have to pick between Harry Potter characters I'm gonna hate my life the Weasley twins Ron Weasley are you freaking kidding me oh my god I swear I didn't do this you guys saw me pull them out of the cup and I ended up with, like, the three people I didn't want in the same round. I don't know what to do. Okay. My go-to is Mary Ron Weasley because he's always been my favorite Harry Potter character. I'm sorry, I'm, like, really close to the screen. <laughs> the, like, screen, the camera. Um. This is hard. Between Harry and... I love that I put the Weasley twins. I couldn't commit to just one. <laughs> Um, I'm going to kiss the Weasley twins and Cliff Harry. That's so hard. I don't know if I can commit to that. Only because, like, I know in the seventh book slash movie, there's that whole, like, thing where he falls off a cliff as it is. So maybe he'll survive it. If not... I like more of the supporting characters in the Harry Potter series more than I actually like Harry anyways, so it might not be too much of a loss because I feel like his friends really made him who he was as a person, so. Might be an unpopular opinion. Somebody let me know if you guys feel the same way. He's kind of just like a whiny wizard, which I mean I can't blame him because he has no parents, but anyways, I'm getting on a tangent. I'm going to the next round. I think this is round six. One, two, these are all like folded together. I'm trying to make sure I don't grab more than one. Three. Draco Malfoy from Harry Potter. Will Herondale from The Infernal Devices. Oh no, no. And Jim Carstairs from the infernal devices I can't even explain to you guys how hard this is I'm gonna marry Jim because he was always my favorite I'm going to kiss Will Herondale and I'm going to Cliff Draco because he was a jerk for most of the Harry Potter series even though I still love him I'm sorry Draco last round Kale from Throne of Glass. Augustus Waters from The Fault in Our Stars. And Peta from The Hunger Games. I had to include somebody that was kind of just like stereotypically popular. Okay. I'm going to marry Kale. No spoilers, you guys. I'm still only on, like, the third book from that series. So if he dies or something, please nobody tell me because I love him. I love him a lot. Um, all right, I have Peta and I have Augustus Waters. So, um, I'm not going to spoil anybody from saying anything. But basically, I'm going to kiss Peta because reasons that are explained in books and things so yeah i'm just gonna cliff augustus waters i'm sorry my dude all right that is it everybody for this video i hope you enjoyed um i mean if you've never done this before you try doing it. it's kind of fun you really do get faced with the challenge when you get people that you really like and you have to decide who you're going to marry and who you're going to kill so yeah that's it everybody i hope you enjoyed this video have a good day um, 
please don't kill off any of your favorite fictional characters because all of our favorite authors are really good at doing that for us. Bye!